Hi, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we are going to take a look at All About Bugs Homeschooling Handbook, 250 Activities, a Creative Unit Study, Science Research, Geography, Drawing, and Language Arts. And that's how the back looks. This curriculum includes language arts, science, nature study, geography, art and drawing, documentaries, research and library skills, audiobooks, cursor writing, copy work, reading and spelling, creative writing, logic games, and hidden pictures. Oh, how fun. I like hidden pictures. Instructions. Choose your topics. What do you want to know about bugs? Draw five things you're curious about. And then here are their action steps. They're going to go to the library or bookstore. Bring home a stack of at least five interesting books about these topics. Choose some that have diagrams, instructions, and illustrations. And then school supplies needed. Pencils, colored pencils, and gel pens. I would add some uh, double-sided tape because there might be things that they want to like tape in here. I just find that works the best. Here they're going to write down their titles. They're going to keep everything together in their basket or cubby or however you have that on their desk maybe in a certain drawer and pick out new books anytime and then you could write down everything that you use for this book and then right here it says find creatures that are hidden in this picture so that'll be fun and I guess these are the ones that are hidden And you're going to write down three inter interesting facts about this animal. Research and discovery. Use library books, encyclopedias, or internet, or the internet to learn more. Color the parts of the world where the animal lives. Draw my home, food, and enemies. And then, again, they can also um, find pictures if they prefer to do that. Reading time. You're going to ask your teacher to help you decide how many books to read from each day. Write and draw about what you are reading. And then they could write, draw, right here's the minutes if it's 15, 30, 45 or 60 minutes. And then they're gonna draw or write about the things you see outside today. Spelling time, they're gonna pick a letter. Look in your homeschooling books for words that start with this letter. Write 10 spelling words. And then they're gonna do some pixel bugs. That'd be fun. And they're going to learn about a new bug. And there's some creative writing. And have some copy work. Listening time. Movie time. You're going to watch an educational video about bugs. And then they could write the title, draw their favorite scene, or write about it. Excuse me, and then they get to rate it. Spelling time. Find a creature that are hidden in this picture. And these are the creatures you're going to find. Clip art. Use stickers, pictures from old magazines, or print out pictures of bugs from the internet and paste them on these pages. And you can have your child do like just this one page a day and then come back the next day and do this one. Or maybe you're researching one day and then another day you come back and actually fill out the page. Creative writing, you could do that in one day or take a few days. You could go over the picture, discuss it, color it, give um, the dog a name, the flowers to help give them ideas what to write. I'm just going to kind of skip through here. I like these ones. And then 
need to find the places little places on the map pixel bugs and I'm just skipping through now as we've seen most of the pages that will be in here here they're going to practice drawing bugs A little bit of dyslexia games there. So I hope this helps you get an idea if this journal is right for you and your family. And what your your little one will be learning. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great day. Bye.